Hello everybody, and welcome to another recap episode for my Hardcore WoW Challenge. Today, we'll be recapping everything that happened in the 8 episodes since the last recap episode. If you want to check those out, the first two recap episodes are up to check out, but let's just get right into it. Uh, we'll be starting out with uh, Danos here, the warrior. So, in, um, in their episode, uh, we started off by checking our mail, and our other characters had sent uh, various items to them. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with my challenge, I can send items to between characters. So I was able to send some bags, some potions, some food to this character to help him survive. Uh, as well as some armor and some and some sharpening stones. Uh, so quickly I got to level 10. I was pretty close right right before uh, I stopped the last episode. And I hummed and hawed over talents for a while, explained a lot of my process, thought processes, but I settled on the parry talent because it's both good on offense and defense. And then got the level 10 warrior quest, which is is uh, a great quest gets you a nice weapon early on so uh, went up to Stormwind and did that quest and uh, had to fight someone in this here bar for that but that went just fine was no no problem at all uh, so then I got the sequent quest ran all the way back over to East Vale Logging Camp to accept the quest and you can see here the weapons that I'm going to be one of the weapons I'm going to be receiving here uh, it was a pretty tough fight the, the, the quest that I had to do here is a level 11 and a level 9 here and I did have to I got pretty low here I had to pop a health, health potion but um, wasn't really in any particular danger um, and uh, then picked up yeah Haggard Sword here uh, which uh, it was a really nice upgrade for us a little bit of stamina and more, doubled our DPS pretty much which is great. Then I fought some Murlocs, went up to Jasblood Mind, because I was scared of this place up to this point, but then I realized, oh, these are much lower level. Did kill a rare spawn spider in that back of the cave, which was pretty fun, then hearthed out back to Goldshire. Uh, then we went west and uh, killed some gnolls. Did not kill Hogger, but I did see a rare spawn that I ended up killing. Uh, after that, uh, that was pretty much the episode. I ran to Stormwind to uh, do some engineering between episodes, and that was that. Um, here we have a little upgrade, uh, update, so I have some armor, some weapons, uh, some green stuff, uh, so pretty nice stuff. Uh, our mining got to level 70, so I purchased the next skill upgrade of mining. We did a little bit of engineering in episodes, got some bombs, got some, got some, uh, uh, didn't make a gun or anything, and then we got our second talent point in parry there. All right, next here is Padme. So Padme, same thing. We opened, checked our mail first thing, got a bag, bunch of bags. We went over to Shimmer Ridge and uh, did some quests there. Oh, and uh, and then uh, yeah, so that that was no problem at all. Really, was never in danger during these during these moments, um, which was nice. Went over to Brunal Village, handed these in. And uh, for some reason, I didn't hearth back. I don't know why. I just ran back. On the way back, I decided, oh, yeah, I should hit level 10 because I'm about to hit the trainers. So I did that. Hit level 10. Then talked a lot about during the episode about which talents I might choose uh, and stuff like that. Uh, and ended up forgetting to even choose one here. And uh, I choose a little later. So then I went headed east and uh, tried to take down Vagash. And I felt pretty safe about at least attempting to do so because I have a paladin. I have lots of defensive cooldowns. And it didn't go particularly well for me. I think I got pretty unlucky and I, I had to bubble and heal. And I, I might have been able to continue the fight here, but uh, it would have been really dangerous, I think. So I'm glad I just ran away. And I might come back to that at a later time in the episode. Then I finally picked my talent. So I had to go into Retribution to start because um, they have the parry chance as well, a little deeper in that tree. Then I fought some trogs in a cave, did some quests over in the very eastern parts of Dunmoreau before. Uh, finding my way into uh, Loch Modan here. So I got to Thesselmar and then took the flight path back to Ironforge to do some blacksmithing in between episodes. And so I did that, uh, did the quest that is associated with taking that flight path, and uh, and then logged out for the for the uh, for the episode. In between episodes, uh, didn't the, the gear didn't really change much. I didn't actually end up making the axe yet that I've been meaning to make. Uh, you can see that our two talent points in retribution towards towards that parry chance is really what I'm going for. Our mining got to 67, our blacksmithing got to 65, so lots of good blacksmithing has been done. I uh, made some weapons and some armor for all my characters. And uh, yeah, that's it for Padme this week. Uh, next we have Florana, who started at the lowest le uh, level of any of the people who hadn't died. Uh, they outfitted them with bags, and so they were all set up with that. 
Um, and again, uh, something, both the Told Yourself episodes this week, the Hunter and the Druid, just were pretty slow going. And I think it's mainly because they're herbalists in Teldrassil, which uh, caused a lot of herbing to happen. And as, uh, as I think I have a little montage of me herbing here in a second, because, yeah, I think that really took a lot of time because... Um, and it's also the quests, I think, are just kind of laid out in such a way that... Um, it's definitely not ideal to 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 do them all uh, quickly. Um, so yeah, we just had there's just so many herbs, and I just felt like I was gonna need so many potions for all my characters. So I thought it was a really foolish thing not to get them. Hit level nine part through the episode. Uh, did some more quests, running around, herbing, questing. Pretty boring episode here for me, honestly. And before I get the pet, the hunter's kind of boring and slow. It seems like for sure too. So, um, but yeah, did did some other quests on the western side of Teldrassil there, and just got so many herbs before I before I uh, headed towards back to Dalinar but my hearth wasn't up at this point so I had to just kind of walk my way back and there was a lot of herbs there too hit level 10 after heading some quests and killing some mobs uh, so I was looking at the talent trees and, and training up and having a look at that and I also got the um, the next quest or the quest for to actually start getting our hunter training to tame our own pet um, but I decided to uh, not to do that this episode. Uh, and that I, I did kind of hum and haw over the talents and kind of discuss them on the video, all the different talent trees and what I might want from them. Um, but that I ended up uh, uh, not going with anything there and uh, ending the episode there because it was getting a little too long. And so you can see here we have a leather item from our leather worker, and that's about it. We did end up taking that endurance training talent point to increase the health of our pet, because our pet's going to be the most important part of that. And our herbalism got really high, but our skinning did not, unfortunately. Okay, for Hamical, uh, he's, he was an Ironforge, so I had to make my way out of Ironforge, and I took the exact same route as the Paladin. Really didn't deviate in, in any way, so I'm not going to go over all the ways I did those things. I got to level 10 and uh, talked to Beef br briefly about the different potential talent trees. Really, there's only Fire or Frost as, as, as potential talent tree choices, um, but I ended up going with uh, with the Frost talent trees eventually. Um, I went over to Vagash, though, and tried, tried, tried this on this character as well, and I thought, you know, I think if I just run and Frostbolt and run and Frostbolt, I should be able to really not really get hit and that ended up being the case I was able to kite him back to the road and actually got even got this guard for help Which I don't think I think I could have I think it would have been fine But as you can see I'm pretty low on mana here So I think it would have been pretty tough and the guard just helped me out get the last couple hits uh, Which was great. So I finished that quest, which is awesome got some nice pants and, uh, and And a good chunk of XP Then I had a little hairy moments in the cave nothing like not, I didn't really have a moment where it was like I was gonna die, but just like, lots of mobs around me all the time respawn and stuff like that But it was okay. Went to Lockwood Dan, got to the inn, logged out for the for the week um, And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it for Hamacle. In between episodes though I did a ton of stuff and you can see here I have some some green items that I made for myself and, and found and got quests for but you see that my tailoring is level 70 uh, It goes to show how much bad I made so many bags like all my characters have full bags now and I'm ready to Kind of use linen for other things now and then so you can see that I went two talent points into elemental precision because re uh, people resisting your spells is, is really bad early on all right so now we have Rhoda here our rogue who uh, uh, got to back to level six kind of restarted them on the last episode we got a bunch of potions got a new dagger got some bags so they were all set up ready to go and pretty much did my same normal route going in you know doing the board quests and all that stuff going into the cave I went into the cave and then immediately realized I forgot to train level six skills and it was already, it was already level seven. So I ran out, got the skills, did a couple other things, ran back in, killed gold tooth, did those new, nice new skills. And this episode was just go, was so fast. I got was super quick and I went did all. I, I think I had a better route and, and just killed things a lot faster. Had all the potions and, and stuff and, and, and weapon upgrades and things. Was able to kill Princess uh, by just standing there with evasion. Which is really great. Did have to run away, of course, but uh, might have been able to do it without that. But it just was a really quick episode. I got all the way to level 10 
in one episode, which uh, no other character had done six to ten in one episode. It was a little longer, but not by a lot. Um, and so felt really good about Rogue. Oh, I did hearth back to Northshire Valley accidentally instead, which is kind of funny. But uh, set my hearth to Goldshire and then logged out. But it was a really successful Rogue episode. Really, really liked it a lot. Um, in between episodes, I made myself a nice leather chest piece on this character here. Um, and yeah, did, did a decent amount of leather working, you know, just made some armor kits and some, uh, some embossed leather vests and stuff, but, uh, uh my skinning got really high, I skinned a ton of things, uh, 71 skinning is really great. Didn't put a talent tree point in, and I think I'm gonna hold off to do that at the start of the next episode. Uh, but yeah. Alright, next we have Halor, the priest. Um, this guy also, I uh, got him, this is my first character with a wand from my, I was able to disenchant enough things on my warlock, was able to get wands and potions to this guy, which is great. Wands were super helpful with this priest character's uh, leveling process, and I got to level 10 really fast, same way as the previous two characters in Dunmoreau, and uh, got a priest quest to go to Stormwind to get a nice cooldown. It, uh, on the way there, I uh, discussed what potential talent points I might choose as I was heading up to Ironforge because I wanted to go get this Stormwind quest done right away. So I went and did that, and I actually had ended up taking the one talent point, um, which was, was a good choice, I think. Um, and then I thought, oh, can this character do Kvegash? Like, they aren't that durable, and I don't have any kite, I don't have any slows or anything like that, but it was a really drawn out fight of healing myself and using the wand a lot and, and running away, and I was never really in any danger, like that Frost Nova I had to dodge quite a lot and stuff, but eventually I did get a, a couple last hits in from this guard over here, um, but it was a little more sketchy than the mage, but it was still no problem, which was great to do. Uh, then I did the same kind of quest I did on the other characters, then got to Thelsamar and logged out. Uh, really nice episode from the priest. Um, and of course we have the priest robes, the, the wand, and the rancher's trousers from the Vagash quest. And I got two talent points into the wand specialization to help increase wand damage because it's just so nice to have. I uh, did a little bit of engineering on this character, but not a lot. Didn't make any bombs, made a few bombs, but that's about it. Okay, Oakshiz. Uh, Oakshiz also had a relatively kind of slow week and tons of herbs slowing him down and that kind of stuff, but uh, still... Um, was a little farther along than the hunter was anyway to start um and i'm not going to go over really much about kind of what happened uh because it was very similar to the hunter episode except for of course at level 10 i could head to darnassus and uh get the druid quest here i end up going with nature's grasp i was discussing a lot about the potential pass and i went one talent here into nature's grasp and then i'm going to go all into feral after that probably so anyway, I got to Gadarnassus and headed to the Druid Trainer because I had a quest to go get my bear form. Uh, so he gave me the ability to teleport to Moonglade, and so I uh, went ahead and did that. And uh, and uh, this bear spirit uh, gave me the understanding of how to be a bear, I guess. And uh, I forgot that that wasn't just it. I, I was like, ready to go get my bear form and then I'd go back up to questing, but as I flew, I, I flew back and I realized, oh no, I have to go to Darkshore and kill. Uh, some mobs to get get this bear form and so I went there and it was a little tougher than I expected to be but it was no problem at all we killed the level 12 Alkin there's a little more 13 ones around that made it a little more difficult but we killed it um, and got the quest done and were able to return to Darnassus hand it in and hit level 11 uh, and then get our bear form which is great and it will help a lot next episode to have bear form uh, obviously got that uh, level leather vest the same way as um, my my uh, uh, other leather classes got and got to 74 to 75 alchemy and just have no money or no reasons to sell on this character because I've been sending so much stuff um, but um, uh, yeah this character is, has been really um, really good to, uh, to, to to level up on the alchemy because it's been really helpful to send these these potions to other characters uh, but anyway, so now we have Janetti, um, and uh, I sent them a couple other bags, and also they had already made themselves a, a little wand, and an Elwyn Forest we've talked about a lot. Uh, I went to Princess and was able to kill them without taking literally any damage, which was I thought was pretty amazing. Uh, I didn't use any fears or anything, I just dotted Princess up, ran away, and uh, they just died before I took any damage, and uh, well, I thought that was really awesome, and really sh it showcases how good Warlocks are. They're able to just do a ton of damage with taking no damage and tons of defensive skills. Uh, so I hit level 10 pretty quick in the episode, 
and uh, and then hearth back to Goldshire and uh, realized that I, I was starting to head towards Westbrook Garrison soon after this. Then I realized I need to go get my Voidwalker, of course. So I headed to Stormwind, went down to the Warlock Trainers in the Slaughtered Lamb, and then I realized I had to go all the way back to where Princess was to my Warlock quest. So I went and killed these three mobs, which was a tough fight, uh, kind of. I mean, I, I kind of was totally fine, but like it really go went to show how strong Warlocks were. I was able to kill these three guys really no problem didn't have to use any health potions or anything just was able to fear juggle and stuff like that but anyway so i went back to stormwind I summoned this void walker took him out and then was able, able to summon my own void walker after that at this point it was kind of like i could have ended the episode here but i was really excited about my void walker and so i decided to take them out and i was halfway to level uh, 12 and i thought maybe i can get to level 12 this episode it'd be really cool and so i went to kill the gnolls and i thought actually i probably can kill hogger with, with this warlock and so, sure enough i killed it taking almost zero damage and uh was really no problem at all and obviously on most classes that's really not a, not an option and so then after i killed hogger i went back to goldshire handed the quest in hit level 12 which is the only character hit level 12 this this, this cycle which was really awesome so Warlock had the most fun for sure during this episode. It was just super fun, fear juggling people and stuff. Um, had had a couple uh, couple uh, nice items, the wand and the robes. Really, were the only notable items that I have now. Um, and I got uh, three talent points into improved corruption to make that instant speed. But uh, soon after this, uh, I'm probably gonna go deep into demonology to, for the survivability aspect it has. Uh, my mining on this character got to 46, and enchanting, not that high, but I was able to make wands for almost everybody that needs one. And that's it for this week's recap, guys. Uh, I really appreciate the viewership and the support you guys have been giving me in the comments I've been reading uh, and, and, and responding to, and, and, and the views have really been I do, taken off more than I expected, but uh, really appreciate all, all you guys watching. And if you like this recap, please like the video. If you have any feedback about how this recap is done, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear back from you. Um, and of course, if you want to see the more videos, if you want to see the actual episodes, please subscribe. I release them every day. Uh, if you want to see these recaps only, uh, there'll be a playlist I'll be making for these recap videos. So you'll be able to check on the playlist and see, oh, there's a new recap out. Uh, because I know that these recap episodes are a lot shorter than the episodes themselves. So it's a way for people to keep in touch with the challenge without having to watch every single episode in its entirety. But anyway, that's it for me, this recap episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys next time.